everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are diving into magical worlds of Adobe Express. Adobe Express is a simple tool that helps you create eye-catching designs easily. It offers a wide range of templates, design tools to create designs. Ready to turn your ideas into stunning visuals? So let's get started. You can either download Adobe Express from your Microsoft Store or go to adobeexpress.com in your web browser. The first thing you need to do is create an account or log into Adobe Express account. All you have to do is create an account or log in with your Gmail account. It is simple and easy. Once you have logged in, you will be taken to Adobe Express dashboard where you can start a new project. Let's briefly discuss what we have here at home page of Adobe Express. Here you can create social media posts like Instagram posts, Reels, Stories, TikTok, videos for Facebook, YouTube. You can create photo books, profile photos, documents like report, resume, flyers, and marketing projects like logo, poster, cards can also be made for free in Adobe Express. On the left side of the screen, you can see many features as well. The home icon brings you back to home page. Your stuff tab means your creation is stored here for easy access. Brand icon tab is used to manage your brand's visual elements design. It especially refers to the logo or symbol that represents your brand. Templates tab is where you can find pre-designed templates that you can use. Schedule icon tab is a feature that allows you to plan and manage the timing of your social media. Learn icon tab is designed to help users improve their design skills and add-ons tab is where you can find additional tools to enhance your design experience. Now if you scroll down you can see remove background, generate QR code, collage maker, logo maker, resize image, edit PDF, free video for quick action. Now just to give you an example of how does Adobe Express interface really works Let's just say we want to make a logo design. Just click on logo template in home page or search for it in search bar at the top of the screen. You can find many templates here, so you can search for the specific one that you need in search bar as shown in the video. Make sure to choose the one that is free. Now you can edit it as needed. Select the whole box to change background color, border, roundness, thickness, opacity, animation, and so on. Now you want to change the name of the logo. Simply click on the text of the design and write the name you want. Once done, adjust it as you want. When you select the text box, a toolbar appears at the left side of the screen. From there, you can change font of the text, font size, effects in the text, color, outline, opacity, and many more. To make it more interesting, you can add text effect, shadows, shape, and animation effect to your text as well. To flip the image, it is quite easy in Adobe Express. Just select the image and you will see flip option in left side of the screen. And flip it either horizontally or vertically. You can also edit the image as needed like previously. Now you can also upload your photos, videos, files you like. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see upload option. Select it and choose a file you want. Adjust it and now you can remove background of the photo easily just by clicking remove background option. Cropping the image is also simple. Select the image and you will see crop option. Click it and crop the unwanted part. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see flip option and set as page background option. Select it if needed. Now your image is being used as a background. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see a text feature. We can add additional text to our logo design from this feature. Once done, you can edit as you wish. In Adobe Express, element section refers to collection of design components you can use to enhance your project. It includes graphics, text, shape, icon, and many more. You can also search for design components you want in search bar. Then you can place it and edit as needed. After you make sure the design is complete, look for a download button in top right corner of the screen. Select the format that suits your need 
and click the download button after the which your file will be prepared then it will automatically start downloading to your device now at the top left corner you can see adobe express simple simply click on it to go to the page now let's create a brand new content of our own go to the start from your content in home page and select the image you want to create you can also see many templates from where you can choose the design but let's do it on our own so you can choose the aspect ratio you want in upper side of the screen you can see various features select change theme section to change the color theme of your design add text from the text section from left side of the screen then you can change its font font size position color as needed from element section you can add design component that you want to send image backward select the image first there you can see three dot bottom on top of the page click on it and search for the send backward option there you go you can see medium feature in between templates and text from here you can upload photo videos and audios to adobe express select audio option and choose the audio from there now you can adjust the volume and timing of the audio as you wish. Once you have completed download your design and save it to your device. Moving on, let's create a QR code here in Adobe Express. Search for QR code in search bar or you can see QR code option here in suggested quick action homepage. Click on it. Then you will be asked to enter URL or information you want the QR code to lead to. You can also change the style of your QR code, change color and file format as you need. Once you have finished customizing your QR code, download the QR code image. You can also find many other features in Adobe Express. You can translate the text in your design into different languages. To do so, select the text you want to translate and choose which language you want the translation to be. Then hit duplicate and translate. So you will get the original one and translated one in two different places. Undo feature allows you to revert changes you have made to your design, helping you correct a mistake. Invite feature is used to collaborate with others on a design project. Comment and feedback feature allows users to provide feedback, ask questions or discuss changes. Now if you click on three dot button as shown in the video, you can create a copy of your entire design. Now that we are almost at the end of this video, let's see how we can change our profile in Adobe Express. On top right corner of the screen, you can see profile bar. Click on it and go to the settings. From there, you can change your preferred language format for displaying date time. If you select account option, you can edit your account name, profile name and also upload profile picture. To sign out from Adobe Express, again go to the profile bar and at last you can see logout option. Click on it and you are done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is useful. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share and also hit the notification bell.